Greetings YouTubers, Oshea2 here. This video I'm going to entitle Gun Control, for want of a better title at the moment. Now, I've been sitting here, I was watching Lou Dobbs uh, tonight on uh, CNN, and they were uh, talking about the uh, current uh, administration looking on curtailing uh, gun rights again. And to me, uh, I believe this is a wrong thing. You shouldn't curtail the rights of uh, citizens to own guns. And I think there's a lot of reasons for this. Okay? Uh, I think, look, again, a lot of the reasons why they're trying to do this is all these people that you know, believe you know, guns are bad, guns are dangerous, you know, and all. And it's, it's the guns that are the problem. And this is wrong-headed thinking, and it's incorrect. Okay, first off, what people need to remember, just like anything else, a gun is a tool, okay? It's something that's made to be used for a specific purpose. Whether that purpose is killing someone, whether that purpose is for target practice, whatever that, whatever, I mean, that's part of the purpose of a gun. So let's just figure, let, I mean, hunting is part of the purpose of a gun. There are many purposes that a gun can be used for, okay? Whether you agree with them or not is another issue, okay? Now... <clears throat> what I'm going to be talking about here is the common fallacy that gun laws help uh, stop violent crimes, which is unfortunately not true. See, look at it this way, folks. What happens if legal citizens get their right to take have their guns have get their rights to have a gun taken away? Okay, this in effect emboldens the criminal element, because when it comes right down to it, your average criminal who's using a gun in a robbery or something like that, they did not get that gun legally, okay? Maybe the odd one or two did, and then they'll end up, and they'll end up getting caught over it, you know? But the gun that they're using is either not their gun that they stole from somebody, okay, it's, and it, it'll, it's, it ends up being registered to another person, and has been reported stolen or missing at some point, or it's actually gotten and bought illegally, however, wherever the gun came from. Whether that gun was stolen from somebody else, bought in a different country and transported here and sold on the black market, whatever it is. Okay? Criminals are not getting guns legally. Okay? So all of a sudden, the fact that you're doing when you're making gun laws is, in effect, taking the rights of people away from owning a gun and help possibly defending themselves, okay? And point of fact, that 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 shooting in West Virginia, on the West Virginia campus a couple of years back now, this guy killed how many people, okay? If there was somebody else there that could have been owned, that could have owned, the, that had a gun, okay? The guy could have been stopped right there and maybe a couple of those people that are now dead might have still been alive, okay? And... The reason why I say this is still a possibility is the fact is that you think of the response time of the police in any type of situation like this, okay? Just think about that for a minute. Whether it's a, on, on, on the campus is going to have their own security. Whether those security are armed or not, I don't know. I would think that they are, okay? But there's still going to be a finite response time, okay, from where those police are to get to the to get to actually get to the area. Whether it's one minute, two minute, or whatever. Okay, well, in two minutes' time, somebody with a gun could kill half a dozen or more people before the police even get there, or before they even know what's happening yet. Okay, if somebody else has a gun there, then that person could have, you know, stopped that person from shooting somebody else. Another case in point, the shooting at that church in Colorado. Okay, there was actually a guard in the place that had a gun, and shot this person before they were able to kill anybody else, okay? And the bottom line is, if that person was not there, if that person was restricted from having that gun, yes, they were an armed guard, they had a permit and everything else, but still, the point is, and, and the effect is still the same. There was somebody there on the scene that had the weapon, okay? So unless you want to have armed security where, wherever you go, I mean, the only other option is the fact that people should be able to carry a gun and have the right to use it if they need to, okay? Now, again, you're going to have people 
gun happy people, that there are a lot of issues. Okay, and to me, there's always a good chance you may. You, I mean, how you how you want to determine who? I mean, mental stability is actually obviously a, a good you no know, reason not to give somebody a gun. So. Anybody with a background of uh, any type of mental history obviously should not be allowed to get, a, you know, be, be able to get a gun. But, you know, within reason here, you know. Now, I personally don't own a gun. I don't remember if I mentioned it in the video or not. But I have used firearms, you know, 22 caliber rifles and pistols for the most part. <clears throat> and, again, the, it's a tool. The gun is a tool, Okay. And for any administration to want to take somebody's rights away over that, uh, 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 over just the fact that somebody could get hurt, okay, well, people can get hurt a lot of different ways too without guns, okay? If, if, if I mean, if, if, even let's say they got rid of all guns completely, okay, well, there's still knives, there's still clubs, people will just be dying much more violent deaths because there's still going to be criminals out there that are going to be killing people. And I don't know, firstly, I wouldn't know which is worse, getting beaten to death or uh, getting shot to death. But I don't know, I'm willing to bet getting beaten to death would probably be a hell of a lot more painful. I mean, <laughs> bottom line, you know, it, it's like, it's tough choices all around. But I'm, 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 saying, my, my, I'm saying you cannot take people's gun, gun rights away, because you, all you're doing is really emboldening the, the criminals. But these criminals aren't getting guns legally. That's the bottom line. They're not getting them legally. So you can put all the laws on the books, you can restrict access to all you want. These people, it doesn't matter to these people. They're not getting them legally. They're not paying attention to the law anyway. You know? And all you're doing is harming the American citizen over it. Oh, it, just, to, I mean, best one last analogy quick, you know. You know, for the homeowner, okay? You're sleeping, okay? You hear a noise downstairs in your house, okay? Now, you don't have a gun, Okay. You go you go you pick up your phone, you call nine one one, okay? Before you even confirm what's downstairs, let's say. There's still a finite time before the police get there. Two to three minutes, okay? Now the police get there. There may be somebody inside the house, okay? They're not just gonna walk up to the door and start knocking. They're coming in slow, okay? And they're gonna be checking the house and seeing if they see any activity, okay? So the point being is they're not just going to rush in either, okay? So it's anywhere from, it could be anywhere from two to five minutes with you being in the house with an unknown intruder, okay, who could have his own gun and shoot you dead long before the police get there, okay? Now, with the, the, you might have left some evidence behind it. They end up catching the guy, you know, six weeks, a month later, you know, a month or six weeks or more later, but you know what? If you're dead, that's not helping you anyway. Yeah, they caught the guy that killed you, but, you know, you're still dead. And if you had a gun, then at that point, maybe you wouldn't have been dead. Okay, you still could have because, hey, you could have both shot each other and you both could have died from your wounds. I, I, I understand things like that. But again, at least you'd have a chance of surviving. You know, which is my point, you know. If the police don't get there in time, or, or the amount of time it takes them to actually get to you, there's still that finite time where you can be hurt by your intruder, you know, I mean, that or your family, you know, so it's just things to think about, that's all I'm saying, all right, well, this video, I, I rambled on here quite a bit, this video went a bit longer than I really wanted it to, so uh, I guess we'll just leave you all with those, with those thoughts, and uh, have a good day.